In Excel, do you want to create a calendar like this, which help you to show a week numbers, okay, basis your months dynamic way. And if in case you are in other country, right, you will get the calendar basis your country location and your region location. This calendar will change and you can change the theme of this calendar. Simply what you need to do, click on this add-ins option and then more add-ins. Here you can just type a mini cal and then you just need to click on this add button. You can just import it. For me, I already imported. I just click on this add-ins and then mini calendar. Once again, you could see the calendar available. Simply I just click on this so I can show so I can hide this settings. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Compare this with switch function. Um, I would rather go with switch. Okay, instead of nested if. Why? Because complexity of this function is very low, and this is so hard. I'm just use a switch function, and then expression. Expression would be this for me. Okay, and then comma value will add a value. Simply this. If this is the value, then show as a poor. Again. Likewise, we'll add a 2 over here, comma, good, get close, again, 3, we'll do it just fast. There we go, okay, with simple step, you will get this result, okay, complete your call, how you want to uh, put it ahead. Hey Excel Geeks, in this series, we are going to cover how to do a automatic auto fit option, how to turn that on, okay? Suppose uh, as a data analyst, you always face this issue, okay? Whenever you type a number, name, suppose region, I'm adding and then I want a commentary over here, okay? So when this text is out of the box right of this column what you need to do simply just select this and adjust it right what if we do it's automatically okay there is a scope so for that what you need to do simply just right click um, click on VBA code and over here you will need to select this worksheet option click on this sales just type sales and then entire column type entire column dot auto activate cool just click this uh, auto fit option and then again click over here so whenever I type number NOS name description salary age so it's automatically get it's automatically getting adjust okay Hope you found this useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. In Excel, you can create this dynamic search option, which will help you to get the result in one go, which is count if or maybe sum if, right? How we can create this? It's a very simple task folks. Just delete this first. I'll just add a count if function over here. Count if, and then I'll select a range from here. Then what is the criteria for me? So criteria would be this packet close and then for sum if once again is equal to sum if and then in the bracket itself select range comma criteria would be this once again for me sum would be for this amount which is digits for me right I'll close a bracket and press enter quickly add a amount over here okay and press enter you could see the 60,000 right which I've added over here sum is reflecting this side and how many times it's showing in this spreadsheet will get this result over here one hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching this is the product name i have revenue and expenses i want a difference right so what i'll do i'll just add a is equal to sign then revenue minus my expenses okay so whatever value is there amount will when we present this data to the client or maybe our leadership right sign doesn't looks good right so for that what we can do we can it's a very simple trick folks okay just carefully observe when you select this press ctrl 1 and then simply click on this number 
and then you can see just read okay and then okay so whenever there is a difference you can only see the red highlighted and not minus sign added yeah so this is how you can create your smart spreadsheet in ms excel without adding a conditional formatting or maybe any other formula thanks for watching and please Once don't forget to subscribe us in excel suppose you want to select a specific text okay and you want to highlight that in excel spreadsheet what how to do that? do that just simply select this table and then there is an option called conditional formatting select this highlight cell rule and then simply just click on this option text that contains okay you will see this pop up okay now i want to see surname is patel okay the name patel available in the entire list those only will get highlighted okay now i want to see a manager i'll just simply type manager over here how many managers we have just simply we are just highlighting those so hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching in excel whenever we want to add a serial number what we usually do we type like this okay and add numbers manually okay it's in a tedious task box instead just simply follow this step control one from your keyboard click on this custom and type triple zero and hit OK. So whenever you type one, two, three, or maybe any other number, this two zero will auto populate in your Excel sheet. Hope you found this useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. We can insert a new, just simply click on this new worksheet and you can insert a new. This is my new tab for me. Now you can just right click it, add a tab color over here and then you can just move this at the end. Click right click and then move at the end simply OK. You can see this movement has been done. If in case you want to delete, just right click it and then delete it. You can just simply delete and you can insert from here as well the new blank and then OK. So you can insert a new sheet from here. Again the third methodology for inserting a worksheet, it's a very simple ribbon tab there is an option called insert you can just click here and then insert a when you drag this a little bit you can see this new new worksheet has been inserted likewise you can do it for delete as well when you select this and then delete sheet thanks for watching have a great day ahead hey excel geeks in this series we will be covering this problem statement right at the time of ETL, we see these scenarios, we have this blank rows available in the spreadsheet. Okay, to remove that, what we usually do, we remove this by clicking Ctrl minus. Okay, this is a very tedious and unproductive task. Okay, so to remove this uh, dependency, we can just simply select this entire table first. Okay, press Ctrl G from your keyboard, you will get this pop up. And then hit a special you will click on this option called blank just select it so wherever blank rows are available those are automatically get selected ensure that now you are pressing a control minus and then there is an option called entire row just select that and okay you could see your table got automatically arranged Suppose in Excel we have only a date of birth and we want to calculate a years, right? With the help of this uh, date of birth, it's a simple task to do. Okay, first what we need to do, we just need to calculate a days. So today is the formula for me, and then minus these are the date of birth. Press enter. So these are the days for you. Cool. So once you calculate a days, now what we want, we want days into year so we'll use a convert function over here i'll select this comma i'll type a days over here okay simply just select from here comma days to year bracket close and press enter okay let me just zoom out control d and you can see this beautiful result is available over here days month and year it's a simple quick task okay uh, for that you can 
do it from home ribbon tab series and uh, series section okay date and you can select from here otherwise it's a simple way to do what I'll do it over here I'll just drag it down and I click on autofill options and here I'll say days cool I'll make this color as a black so now you can see the days has been changed only days are changing right similar fashion we'll do it for weekdays as well just copy this paste it over here drag it down again autofill option here we just want a fill weekdays so these are the weekdays which we are reflecting over here again copy this the top one paste over here drag it down click autofill series once again fill months so these are the months only and year and I'll just say fill years at the time of ETL extract transform and load right uh, when we import a data from CSV and we try to convert this into the dates okay what we do we select this and we try to press a control one and then date and then year okay we usually add this kind of a formatting and press okay but this is not really working so what is the solution for that simply just type a 15 over here and then 0 5 again 1990 I'll just quickly type over here once again and as soon as you done right what you need to do simply just select a press control E okay as soon as you hit a control E here flash will will apply okay and then once flash fill is done press control 1 and and here cool I'll just hit a ok button and then now you can see this format has been changed hey excel geeks do you want to learn how to insert a trademark symbol registered symbol or maybe copyright symbol in MS Excel it's a very simple task folks okay suppose you are in Excel and uh, you want to insert that logos you just need to click on this insert ribbon tab and then simply just click on let me just zoom this in when you click on this insert ribbon tab simply click on symbol and then there are showcased for us click on this special characters and then copyright inserted when I click inserted it's automatically get inserted okay I want a this as well I want trademark as well I just simply insert it and then close you could see this is how we inserted a symbol in MS Excel in Excel now you can create a hyperlink based email ID okay so basically click on that email address this pop-up window is coming up right so how you can create your own adding a subject line it's a very simple task folks press control K and then email address section type email to type your email ID over here simply in email address and subject need urgent details cool so I'll just add any urgent details over here okay and when I press a left click of mouse I could see me outlook window is showing me like this which help me to save my time and be more productive hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching multiple times as a data analyst we have faced this issue right uh, we want a specific a uh, name to be displayed over here basis that we want a result meaning suppose I want a sum of this name Michael and this and uh, Michael again once again this over here and I want a sum okay so for that what we what we will be doing will be we just select this plus plus okay or maybe plus okay so there is a chances of missing of the data okay so instead of this just quickly do this sum if and then range from here comma criteria would be this again comma the salary select this once again bracket close press enter cool so if I change a John this dynamically available in terms of salary will get that result over here this will save your time and increase your productivity thanks for watching once again please don't forget to subscribe us